Let me show you how we can use a special eraser tool to very quickly erase the backdrop. So be sure you are in the pixel mode in Affinity, not in the vector, you must switch to pixel, the pinkish one. Then we search for eraser tool, but don't just take the first tool from the list. There are actually three tools bundled here and we want to use the second one called background eraser tool. With this tool, we can change the size of the eraser to match our picture using the slider or using brackets on your keyboard. I recommend to zoom in a bit. Then you can press and hold space bar to position yourself. And the key point for this kind of eraser is that the 60 or 70% of the eraser must be pointing to the backdrop and only like 30 pointing to the subject. So the program will figure out what to erase. Take a look, I did not select anything except the layer with the picture. And the program is protecting the mountain here without any selection, without any AI. A simple color range protection and that's perfect for removing the backdrop. So we don't need to use any fancy AI or smart selection tool we just erasing pixels that do not match the color of the foreground. A very simple and kind of forgotten tool, but I think it's still pretty handy. All right, and with this separation, I can switch to a regular eraser and speed up now because there's nothing I want to protect in this area. I can even make it larger like that. Common minus to zoom out and this way very quickly we can replace this with the brand new sky. All right, so this tool is perfect for erasing backgrounds. That's why they name it a background eraser. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.